Welcome to my channel. My name is Gail and this is Real Life and Keto. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Uh, it is Thursday. It is the 4th of May. May the 4th be with you. For those of you who are Star Wars geeks like I am. And um, let's see. It's going on 6 o'clock or it is six o'clock or a little after six o'clock i just got home from work actually i i got out of work stopped at the grocery store stopped at my dad's um, my aunt was up visiting i said i visited with them for a little bit and said goodbye to her she's taken off to go back home tomorrow and um i wanted to do i was gonna try to do a video vlog yesterday but we had a little family dinner with her visiting and um <laughs> excuse me by the time we got done it was so late it was I was just like, no, I'm just done. And then my sister came over to visit for a while and we were chatting for like until 10 o'clock at night, you know? So my plans of going to bed early last night didn't happen, which was fine. I mean, you know, cause it's good for her and I to chat and catch up on stuff. And she is starting her own um, YouTube channel. So we were kind of going over stuff like that and chatting about that. And we're thinking about doing some collaborations together, which I think would be kind of fun and you know and so I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to that um her youtube channel is candidly kelly and it's kelly k-e-l-l-y so candidly as you would normally spell it candidly kelly and i'll put a link down below and uh so that you're welcome to start following her if you want to uh let's see okay so this week monday was a bust uh drug rep brought in donuts and muffins and I I'd had a rough weekend and Saturday had been rough and Sunday I was kind of back on track and then I just my mood was not great on Monday and I was just yeah went off the rails again and and after that after Monday I've been back on track Tuesday Wednesday Thursday um getting myself back into ketosis I haven't tested yet tonight. I'm guessing I'll be in ketosis tonight because I've done really well. Uh, I haven't tracked per se. We have had lunches Tuesday and Tuesday. And then we had my family dinner yesterday, which was brats and burgers and salads and keto coleslaw. So there was a lot of good choices last night at my dad's. And then today we had a taco bar, which meant I had a taco salad, which was awesome choices. And so yeah, I've been I've been doing really well as far as the last three days. So I'll probably be back into ketosis when I test tonight. I would be surprised if I'm not. Usually three days is about the limit that it takes. Sometimes it's sooner than that, but it's about three days of being back on track to get the ketones, ooh, bug, back, you know, doing their thing. Um, Mood-wise, I've been doing okay, you know, feeling, feeling all right. And, um, the weather's getting nicer. That's good. Uh, of course, I'm looking forward to the weekend. Thank God tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow, I get out of work early. I'm getting out at 3 and I'm going down to get, um, file for my DBA, my doing business as. And, uh, I'm, I'm thinking that I'm going just with the name Real Life Keto Coach or Coaching or something along that line. I have to I have to think about it because of it, of course it's the name I'll be using business wise. Rocky Shush. Uh, for the next what is it, three years, five years the DBA is good for. And then this weekend I'm hoping to build my website. Probably Sunday I'm hoping to get that built. I'm still trying to decide which website builder I want to use, if I want to use Wix or if I want to use GoDaddy. If anybody has any suggestions, please feel free to list it below. I am not really, I mean, I love computers and I love computer things, but I'm not like, I don't write code or anything like that. So I really need just something that's really user friendly. And if you know me at all, you know, I like simple. I, I, I want to keep my website very simple, very straightforward, very, um, user friendly for anybody looking at it or looking for it and I'm um, talking about I was talking to my dad about like pricing and that kind of thing and for the coaching and I mentioned this in my last video what I'm thinking is and I'm and I'm kind of using other keto coaches as as an idea so my thought process is and I mentioned this before that it would be $12 a week 
forty dollars a month and if if someone thinks that they need three months worth of help it would be a hundred dollars for three months now with uh, the twelve dollars a week I would say that that would be emails and that would be phone calls and I would talk to you on the phone now I, I do think I need to set a limit like for keto coaching um, if uh, a phone call goes over a half an hour there would be an upcharge of like say another five dollars and of course I would give somebody a warning before we continued the conversation into the next half an hour if they wanted to continue it but I am thinking like uh, that twelve dollars a week would get you you know three or four 20 minute phone conversations if you wanted or emails back and forth you know whatever to help you get yourself on track to figure out what you know how to do keto the way that works for you so that's what I'm thinking and the reason I'm and I and I don't really expect too many people to want um, to pay a hundred dollars for three months but the hundred dollars would be you know because twelve dollars a week for a month if you did it bi-weekly or every week by the week not bi-weekly by the week would be $48 so $40 a month is a discount from that and then three months at $100 is a discount even more so I mean you know instead of doing three months at $12 a week which the math you know but um, so anyway that's what I'm thinking if somebody really thought they needed three months of coaching um, to help them get on track I would be help, help willing you know to do that and like I said I, I'm still working out the bucks bugs I'm sure there's gonna be like a learning curve to do this um, but I am kind of excited that I'm going to get my DBA tomorrow I've never done anything like this I've never you know um, attempted to be my own business or be a business owner per se and um, and especially about something that I feel very passionate about there's been different times where I have um, people have started asking me about the ketogenic way of eating and I almost felt like I was giving a seminar and and or you know trying to do like this crash course tutorial and and literally would have a group of people that I was talking to and it's usually family members which is fine I don't have a problem with that you know what I mean but but you know I could feel myself getting excited about it and passionate about it and wanting to share the information so this is something that I want to bring it to people as an affordable option to help them get on the right track I certainly am not looking to make a ton of money off of you know somebody else but but you know you do want to make a living or not a living per se but you want to want to make it worth your time to try to do something um, because it can be quite extenuating to, to continue talking about it um, anyway so I'm super excited about that and where am I at I'm at eight minutes now but I did want to touch base on that and I let's see this weekend just normal stuff I have a baby shower to go to on Saturday and my daughter is uh, it's her sister-in-law, so and she's in charge of games. Oh well, we'll see how that goes. I'm not a big game person. I don't, you know, that's just me. And uh, let's see. And then hopefully, like Sunday, I can work on building a website or deciding. You know, somebody recommended Foursquare as a as a website builder. So I'm going to look at all my options and see which one looks most user friendly for me and read the pros and cons. I'm a big review reader. So, you know, that is going to be what I'm going to be doing before I decide on who who I go with. I did have a GoDaddy website at one point, and it was for, like, trips and tips and tricks and hacks and stuff. But I didn't really use it very much. Like, I didn't do as much with it as I thought I would. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I did want to touch base with you guys and let you know I am thinking of you. And, um, yeah, the if I can't reiterate enough that the liquid fat fast was a huge bust for me did not help me at all I it set me off really bad and I had a really hard time getting back on track I mean I think Monday was still kind of a a blow over from having fasted for three days I just it's not gonna do that again that was not good for me so I will uh, post another video once I have everything in place for the the keto coaching and um, then maybe I will look at starting something new. I don't know. Maybe.
maybe doing cooking or something, you know, we'll think of something and see what we can do. But uh, maybe I'll have a little grocery haul or something this weekend that I can show you. And yeah, I hope you guys all go into the weekend with a good attitude and do really well. And I will talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching. Please click the subscribe if you're interested in subscribing and not already. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And click share if you're interested in sharing it. And I'll talk to you soon. Keto on.